Hello everyone and welcome to the Tales of Tenorio video. Tales of Tenorio is coming out in about 9 days and that day is approaching quickly. So far, we've only seen a few Tenorians from the trailers that the developers have gave to us. I do believe that we'll be seeing even more Tenorians that weren't in the trailer once the entire game comes out to the public. This might be a burning question in your mind. What is the best starter in Tales of Tenorio in my opinion? I was checking the wiki for more information and most of the Tenarians that we know so far are grass and bug types. Currently on the wiki, we know that there are 28 grass and bug types in the game combined, but I'm sure that will change it in the near future because they want to add even more Tenarians. If Tales of Tenario are taking inspiration from the encounters from Pokemon games, then we will be seeing the majority of the grass and bug types in the beginning to go against and train. But now, let's talk about the starters and see the pros and cons for each of them. Rabouche is a grass type to begin with and honestly, I personally think if you pick this starter, you will struggle against wild encounters because of the overwhelming number of grass and bug types. The good thing about Rabouche though is that it will have no problem going against the first stadium leader, Manzi. Manzi is all about water types and that gives Rabouche a huge advantage in the stadium because of its grass moves and resistance against water moves. The second stadium leader is Raya and she is a fighting type stadium leader. Rabouche should be fine going against this leader since Rabouche would do neutral damage against her fighting types. It might take some people a few tries to beat her, but I think if you play it smart, you should be good to go. The third stadium leader, Alabaster, is a metal type leader. Since grass is neutral against metal, it shouldn't be too hard to go against him. Just make sure to not use any normal attacks with Rabouche because the metal types will resist against all normal moves in the game. We are now on to Charsile, the fire type starter. I personally think that Charsile will be an excellent Tenarian in the beginning because of the amount of grass and bug types in the wild that have been confirmed by the actual developers. This will probably make Charsile easy to level up fast compared to the other starters. The downside about Charsile is that, like I said before, Manzi is known for her water types and that will be tough to go against without other Tenarians helping you. Charsile will struggle in the stadium leader department, but you can always quickly train Charsile in the previous routes and make it stronger against the easy bug and grass types. Personally, I think Charsile will be fine against Raya since it isn't weak to her fighting type Tenarians. However, Alabaster will be a walk in the park because Charsile's fire moves will melt all of his metal Tenarians in a flash. The last starter is the water type Chu Aqua. I think that Chu Aqua will be the Tenarian that struggles a lot in the beginning. Since water types are weak against grass and since we know that there are a lot of grass types, it might be harder to train without going back to heal. Even though Chu Aqua isn't weak against Manzi's water types, Chu Aqua can't really hurt her Tenarians that much since water is resistant to water obviously. Honestly, Raya would probably be the same with Chu Aqua since like they're all neutral against her and it'd probably be the exact same fight and you'll probably most likely win at the end of the day. Alabaster might be a bit harder later down the road because that's when your Tenarians start getting more levels so he might have some counter against the water types. Who knows at this point? Now, my conclusion. I personally think that Charsile is the best starter because you can easily train it with all the grass and bug types in the game. Even though Manzi will be a bit challenging, you can still beat her and move on with your journey. At the end of the day, all of the Star Tenarians are well made and look amazing and look really good as well. It's up to you on what you want to pick because this is just my opinion on the starters. Don't let my opinion change your mind and stick to what you think looks cool and powerful. 